Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Chaldean G channel. Back with another video in today's video. I got a long one for y'all. We're not only ranking all the blocks fruit abilities that you can use, but we're also doing combat styles as well. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit a like and subscribe and turn on the bell. I'll see y'all. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the Caldoji channel, back with another video. And today, we're gonna be doing what every single other blocks for YouTuber is doing. Just because, you know, I'm trying to make some ideas for future videos. So, if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe and turn on that bell icon for future notifications just so you know whenever I upload. So today we're doing a tier list on every single blocks fruit in the game and ranking them from God tier all the way down to D tier. So you guys have probably already know how this goes. S means the best, God means the best, D means the worst, whatever it may be. And also, uh, I think by the time this video gets out, I will reach a thousand subscribers. So I will be making a special about that as well. But anyways, let's just dive right into the video. Starting off with Barrier. I don't know, man. Barrier, uh, if you think about it, Barrier has some pretty good, like like you know defense if you, if you think about it like here there's like good you know traversal there's like the, the stairs i mean honestly the stairs aren't that good but like you know there's still some other stuff like let's see yeah there we go that just comes out of nowhere the barrier towers you just drop it down it's, pr it's pretty good you know honestly i think i'm gonna have to rate this uh i want to rate it c but i feel like it deserves b just because there's like other stuff right by it like blizzard we gotta we gotta go higher so let's do like Let's do C tier just because there's just so many fruits that are better than it. So we're gonna go C tier. Blizzard. Alright. I actually don't know the moves of Blizzard, so let's go check that out. Okay, nice. That looks pretty cool. The shurikens. Alright, well, that looks like good for range attacks, and it does pretty good damage too. 2000. Oh man. Well, it does the same thing as the shuriken, the same amount of damage. The whiteout, the hollowing wind, whatever it may be. Let's see this one. Okay. Well, these look at like these look like they're good for combos, and they're really far away too. So you can just sit back and hit him. Yeah, man, this looks like a pretty good. Yeah. Okay. He just created a whole room, man. I think I'm gonna have to go. Honestly, like, all right. So like, comparing it to all the other fruits here, not just like going like off of the words I have, because I know every single other fruit. I just haven't seen Blizzard yet. I'm gonna go A tier. A tier for Blizzard. Bomb fruit. All right. We know that most of the moves are pretty much useless. Uh, you know. Just like all together, it's a it's a slow fruit. There's no you know I don't think there's any F moves so that you can like traverse. The only good thing is like the the mine placement thing where you place it all around the map and you're just your your NPC or your guy just like he just <laughs> walks into it by accident. So I think I'm gonna have to go hmm, just because of that move. Bottom of C tier. Buddha fruit, pretty much like the best fruit for grinding. Period. Uh, actually, light fruit. But anyways. Buddha fruit, it's pretty good for grinding, but for the fruit itself, not that good, you know? The moves have altogether just like, you know, not that much damage going for it, and it's they're pretty slow. You know, you're a giant Buddha, so of course you're going to be slower unless you just dash a bunch, and the moves altogether are just not that good for the fruit itself. If you have a good combat style or a good sword, and you have the, the points for that, then go ahead, use Buddha as much as you want to grind, because you can just hit someone from like, as far as Blizzard goes, you know? So, because of that, I think I'm gonna go with, hmm, honestly, ah, because it's really good for combat too. I didn't mention that. Let's go bottom of A tier. We might move that later, you know? All right, chop fruit. I, I think we know where this is going. There's pretty much nothing going for this fruit, period. There's nothing at all, you know? <laughs> the moves suck. The, there's no, I don't think there's any like, oh, there's a car. You can become a slow moving car, I think. The only thing that's going for it is that uh, you can you can like dodge I think sword attacks yeah you can dodge sword attacks like you'll just like be immune to them even with hockey on you'll be fine but still D tier you know all right control fruit one of my friends mains control and it's honestly meh people would want to rate uh control higher just because of the reputation it has but to be honest like it's not that good in blocks fruits it is pretty good but like for combat I don't know man I have some pretty mixed feelings about it. Not only does it need a rework because it's completely outdated, but the moves are very slow and honestly, <laughs> yeah, just the moves are slow, not that good for combat. It could use some work. That's all I could say. If it if it had work done on it and it maybe like fixed some bugs about it and maybe made like an awakening in the future, then I would rate it an A tier, but for now, 
B tier. Darkness fruit. Now we get to we get to some stuff like this which have an awakening. So the non-awakened dark is pretty bad, you know. Let's go look at the moves. Oh, right, we got this guy showing us the darkness fruit. Let's see. Yeah, there's only four moves, and you know, it's just dark bomb. This one just like yeah, it goes on the ground. Some pretty good damage, but you know, you have to get very close to your opponent. Uh, like with the blizzard though you can stay as far back as you want and it does the same or even more amount of damage but the awakened we have moves like this which just like wow man let's just see this i remember this it's just gonna yep it's just gonna go all across the map you teleport it's pr it's just pretty freaking crazy like and that does 3000 damage you literally just hold the button and wait for your guy to at least get a little bit close this one i think yeah pulls your guy towards you man you know the awakened version is really good i've seen you know combats of it it's pretty pretty darn good so just because of the awakening i think i'm gonna go hmm i'm gonna go top of b tier top of b tier i know a lot of control mains or control fans are gonna be like hating me in the comments just trust me on this guys diamond uh pretty much useless you can use it for defense there's like i think one like move which allows you to to give an attack but they have to be right next to you uh bottom of d tier literally does nothing dough fruit all right we're getting to the good ones now man the dough fruit is really really good and there's an awakening about it too an awakening for it but yeah the dough fruit is really really good and i think that it's really better than stuff like blizzard and buddha just because of the combat it has to itself for grinding it can be a little bit tedious but once you awaken it it's pretty much just like one of the most perfect fruits so I think this is going to be our very first S tier. Dragon. We already know that there's an awakening coming. Go watch my videos about that. But well, besides that, it's one of the best fruits in the game. Just hands down. Best for combat, probably. Maybe Katsune is a little bit better. But, you know, everything about it is just great, you know. And there's a rework coming with it. The moves outside of the transformation are great. And the moves with the transformation are even better. They do crazy amounts of damage. So I think... This is going to be our very first God Tier Fruit. Congratulations, Dragon. You are the very first God Tier Fruit. We are very proud of you, and we're so happy and looking forward to your awakening. Or your freaking rework. All right, Falcon Fruit. Oh, jeez. I feel like it's decent, at the very least. It's, ah, uh, I, I want to I wanna put it, like, I can't put it at the same as, like, Darkness or uh, Barrier. I want to put it in D Tier, but the moves with it are not terrible they're not like you know impossible to use you still have access to decent flight you still have some good moves like the the one that like uh slight slashes people around you that's pretty good i think i'm gonna go top of d tier for for uh, falcon all right the flame fruit my very first fruit i have fondness with this fruit and the awakening is actually like pretty decent for it probably not as good as darkness but it, it's a pretty good awakening but the moves without the awakening to be honest they're just you know not that great the flight is probably one of the slowest flights i've ever freaking seen the combat for it it's not that good the cooldown's not that good the damage does pretty good but the awakening of course just makes everything better so i think we're gonna go i think we're gonna go uh hmm. It's probably worse than control, so we're just gonna put it at bottom of B tier. The ghost fruit, man. All right, this is like the, this is the third fruit I've ever had. I went from flame to light, then I ate the light fruit by accident with like some kind of spike. <laughs> so then I just went to my most rare fruit at the time, which was ghost. Ghost is honestly not a bad fruit. It's been recently added, and it's pretty good for PvP. The flight is decently fast. Ah, uh, what else? You know, you can create clones of yourself. The Ghostbusters. You can just you. There's a. Uh, I think you can do like a loud roar. It does crazy amount of damage. So a lot of people will hate me for this, but I think I know what has to be done. It's going above control, and it's gonna be the second best in B tier, just below Darkness. Gravity Fruit, our very first legendary. All right, wait, is it? Is it? <laughs> is is Control a legendary? I don't know. I think it is. Uh, I'm stupid. Or Blizzard. I don't know. But we have gravity. Oh my goodness. All right. A lot of people hate on gravity, probably because it's the worst legendary, which I get. But as a legendary and as a fruit with compared to all these fruits, it's not that terrible. It has some pretty good combat. It's like Blizzard, the way you can just like, you know, hit people from afar and it does pretty decent damage. It does less damage than Blizzard, but you know, for combat, it's it's pretty slow, but it is manageable. So I think I'm going to put it uh, I think we're gonna put a bottom of A tier. All right, ice fruit. Uh, okay, the ice fruit is kind of weird because it, it's it's not that good without the awakening, 
but with the awakening it's not that good either it's it's like it's decent you know I'm gonna save you guys the trouble. I'm just gonna put it top of C tier. Leopard fruit. All right, another mythic. One of the craziest fruits to deal with. You you pretty much need like a dragon or a kitsune, or if you're good with dough, to beat this kind of fruit user. Crazy combat, crazy transformation. Even better when you have your hockey enabled. I think it's gonna go top of S tier. Let's see. There you go. Yeah, I, I'm comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with that. All right, light fruit, man. I might have a lot of bias towards this fruit, but I really do think it's one of the best fruits as as for elemental. Hear me out, all right? The awakened fruit for this is just insane. And not to mention the, the non-awakened fruit is just as good. You have a barrage that you can just hit when you do the ultimate move at the same time. So that works together very well. Transportation, it has the second best. Altogether, a really solid fruit, and the awakening just makes everything better. You get an arrow that just does like so much more damage the barrage is better the, there's like a, a whole beam you can you can freaking fire that does like i think like 1000 damage per three seconds or something no probably probably faster way faster i think i think i'm gonna put this up at the top of a tier all right hate on me all you want but with stacked stuff that you have in your inventory like hockey whatever you have observation this fruit is great all right the love fruit all right um it's annoying you know i think we can all agree that any love fruit main is the most annoying person in the in the entire damn world they make you turn off your observation they make you you know just slow down they can't they, they turn off your transformation whatever it may be it's so annoying the flight is pretty slow too but besides that if you're using the love fruit it's decent you know i'm not gonna put it at the same tier as these guys i think i'm gonna put it uh, worse than control. So I beat here. Magma. All right. I think there's an awakening for magma too. Let's see. The first move is. Ma oh, he's doing. He's doing the ultimate move. Wait. What the? Oh, he's just. He's just getting the moves ready. I'm kind of dumb. Let's see. I think he's gonna do his Z move first. Oh yeah. First skill. Type it in the chat. Look at that. That's even better than the than the uh, Z move for unawakened because it's just one fist. But that that's probably gonna do crazy amount of damage. He doesn't have his, his damage meter up, but he's probably doing a lot of damage right now. What is he going to do now? He's going to do the X move? Let's see. Yeah, just like everything is better now. That I think that was like from the ground, it just like spews magma. Now you just like fire a magma fist at them. So that's crazy. I feel like magma deserves better than it usually gets, you know? Well, it, it has a higher value than the in-game. So I think I'm going to put this. I think I'm going to put it above gravity. And I think it's just because of the love for the fruit. But I think it is and a great awakened fruit and it could be used to do some serious damage to one of the best players the mammoth fruit all right i thought i had this in the bag when i was trading that one episode uh, or that one video i, I fumbled the bag <laughs> so mammoth is a very good fruit you know good transformation it has some it, it's it's like the t-rex right but uh, a little bit slower and just because of that i think i'm gonna put it uh i think i'm gonna put it below i'm, I'm gonna put it bottom of s tier all right I think that's fair. I think that's fair for the mammoth, and I, it, it's one of the best fruits still. Oh, the pain fruit. I'm in pain just saying and looking at this this god-ridden thing. People thought when this fruit came out as the paw fruit, it's going to be insane because the, the user in the anime is one of the strongest people in the verse, but in the, in the, in the game, I don't know why. It's, it's just terrible. It's probably worse than Eyes Awakened. Barrier 2. Uh, probably bomb bomb is probably better than it so i'm just gonna put c tier phoenix all right a lot of hate for this fruit a lot of hate for this fruit people think it's bad but i think it's honestly a, a really good fruit it has a good transformation good flight good moves you know you can just like hit your fire everywhere you go it's a pretty good fruit let's start a movement to have people value phoenix higher than it actually is because it deserves the love we're gonna put this uh let's see yeah, eight tiers. Portal fruit. All right, this is an interesting one because uh, for combat, people use it good or people use it bad. There's either way. You use it good when you have a good combat style, but the fruit itself, people just use it for world warp. That's it. It is a rare fruit. It is valued higher than it actually is. And just because of that one move, world warp. That doesn't mean it's a bad fruit because it just has world warp. It's a pretty good fruit because of it. But other than that, it doesn't really have much going for it. I've seen people use it more for special effects in their YouTube videos than actually using it properly. So I'm gonna put it, uh, yeah, B 
be too. Above control. We hate you, control. You suck. The quake fruit. All right. This fruit sucks. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this fruit is kind of bad. I think there's an awakening version of it. Let's see. There's only, yeah, there's only like four moves too. Fatal Demolisher. Okay. All right. All right. Pretty decent damage. You can hit him from afar. Air Crusher. Okay. Oh, wait. That's actually... Oh, that's... Okay, that's pretty bad. Like, you, you could, like... This fruit could be so much better. Because in the anime, again, one of the strongest characters, probably the strongest character to ever be in the, the verse, uses this fruit. And look look how just, like, they just, like, ruined it, you know? Sea Quake. All right, what the... I did not know that that move existed. Wait, what? <laughs> we gotta rewind that. What? Dude, that's, like, basically undodgeable. You need the speed of life fruit to, to just, like, go up and escape that. 9,000 damage? That's, like, a good finisher. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I gave the Quake Fruit too much hate. I think it should deserve top of B tier. Alright, I feel like it could it could destroy Dark Fruit, Awaken Dark in a, in a fight. I'm putting my money on that one. Rocket Fruit, give me D and God. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. But the Rocket Fruit, alright. One of the newer fruits, so it has some good uh, fruit. Uh, it has some good points for presentation, uh, but other than that, pretty pretty mid fruit. It has like basically like it's like all around of all the fruits, but just like this one, like the sucky version of it. You can fly, you can hit people from the air, you can you know hit people from afar. It just does everything that all the fruits do combined into this just like this pile of mid. Probably better than Falcon, to be honest. Rubber. All right. Again, another case where the main character of the anime uses it, and he's probably one of the strongest people in the verse, but the fruit sucks. The only thing going for it is that you can turn on the, the freaking thing where it, uh, steam comes out of your body. It's called Gear Second in the anime. I don't know what it's called in, in the game, though. But, jeez, man. If they had an awakening for this fruit, whoo, man, it's going to be crazy. Like, I see everyone, I see everyone using it. But I think it's going to go above barrier. Rumble. All right. A lot of air or a lot of uh, long range moves with this one. Just like the blizzard. You can fire just like big electric balls and just, just chuck it at people. A grapefruit. I think there's an awakening for it too. I don't even want to look at it because I, it's just like, you know, it's going to go S tier. It's going to go above mammoth because I have a feeling that it's going to beat them. You know what? No, I think I'm going to keep Doe above. Sand fruit. Sand gets a lot of hate. Kind of. Like... If you have, uh, like, if you have Blizzard, you would never eat it over a sand. But, in my opinion, Awakened Sand, with good hockey, good everything, could beat Blizzard in a fight. It has good moves, it has good, you know, range on everything, good damage, when it's Awakened. When it's not Awakened, it sucks. I'm gonna put it above, hmm, is it gonna go above everything here? Let's see. I think it's gonna go below Dark. Alright, so it's better than Ghost and all these. It's worse than Dark and Quake. I think that's fair. Shadow sucks. Booty cheeks. It sucks so much. Actually, it's not that bad, but it's it's pr probably one of the worst for a legendary. The flight sucks. The moves suck. They're just like, you know, they don't... While well, they do pretty good damage, but the range on them sucks. Even if you have good hockey, good observation, good everything, you just wouldn't want to use uh, your freaking shadow. You'd probably use a better fruit. This is probably the only legendary that's going in the C tier. It's probably better. It's probably top of C tier, to be honest. Smoke Fruit. Where's the Awakening for Smoke Fruit? All right. We have Flame Awakening. We have Ice Awakening. What else do we have? We have freaking Magma Awakening. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? We have Light Awakening, Magma Awakening. No Smoke Fruit Awakening. Why? And altogether, this fruit sucks. It's probably better than Pain. Let's put it above there, at least. Probably above Bomb, too. But, like, come on, man. B tier for Smoke. All right. Sound Fruit. Oh, my gosh. I don't know where to put this. I feel like I should put it at, like... A tier, but same place as Light, Blizzard, Buddha, no. Top of B tier. Top of B tier. Great for combat. Uh, good range. Good good transportation. Everything's going for it. That's really good. Spider. <sighs> spider. Where do I put Spider? Man. I feel like uh, there's an Awakening for it, right? Let's see the Awakened version. Yep. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty good. I remember the, the Unawakened is just one hit, so it's pretty mid. That's pretty good. 7,000 damage. Jeez. Oh my gosh, that is a great move. I've seen enough. I think I know where I'm going to put this. It's going below light. Actually, I, I, I can't let my bias control me. we got to stay general in this tier list. It's going top of A tier. It's probably a great fruit for combat. I just haven't seen it in action yet. Spike fruit. It is a knockoff doe fruit, basically. Well, doe came after spike, so 
Is dough a knockoff spike fruit? Honestly, I don't know. But, uh, D tier. Above chop, probably. Spin, uh, just, yeah, same thing as, uh, thing, uh, same, <laughs> same thing as spike. It's probably worse than chop, though. Am I really putting diamond at the bottom of the bottom? No, it's probably gonna, uh, spring, no. I think I'm gonna keep this at the bottom of the bottom. Freaking, uh, diamond. Wait a minute, why? Why is Rocket above Falcon? Alright, let's change that right now. Spirit, alright? It is a great fruit for combat. It is a great fruit for... Actually, no, it sucks for grinding. That's the thing. It sucks for grinding. But in combat, it's probably better than Phoenix, Buddha, and Blizzard. And Light 2. And Spider? Probably better than Spider. Top of A tier. Uh, I feel like... No, I feel like it's a bit stingy. Bottom of S tier. Actually, no. Better than Mammoth. I'm comfortable with that. I might move that down in the future. Let's see. Spring fruit. All right. Um. Uh. Eh. You know, it's probably in C tier. Better than all these fruits. Kind of. Actually, no. I can't put it at the same thing as barrier and shadow. I will put it right here. Better than rocket. Actually, no. Rocket's better. I like rocket. Uh, spring fruit sucks. You barely know when you're using it, like, cause you cannot see anything. It sucks. Venom. All right. Venom is a pretty, really good fruit. Not pretty good. Really good. It's good for combat. I don't know how it is for grinding, but I heard that it's just great for combat. But the people who main it are just like, they're bullied, you know, a lot. Uh, rightfully so, you know, it's an annoying fruit. Kind of like love, but it's way better than love. We're going to put it uh, right there. A tier. All right. We came finally to the last two, Kitsune and T-Rex. Right now we're going over Kitsune, the best fruit in the game, hands down. And it's the fruit I made. It's great for combat, great for grinding, great for everything, man. It's just a great fruit. The transformation is even better, and just everything about it is great. God tier. T-Rex. I'm not gonna lie, T-Rex kind of stinks. Actually, no, I'm joking. Without the transformation, T-Rex would not be the fruit it is today. We're gonna put it top of it and there we go this is the final tier list oh my goodness all right jeez this video took a while to make so if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe and turn on that bell icon for future notifications just so you know whenever i upload and you know what i'm happy with this tier list if you guys want me to change it in the future let me know because i feel like there's some things that needed to be changed like shadow fruit i know some of you guys are gonna get mad over this but if you guys did enjoy this video i i, <laughs> I hope you did and i'll see you guys later Yo, what is up guys, welcome back to the CalDG channel. I know, I, I think it's been almost a week since I uploaded. So, we have a lot of stuff to cover. It's coming up with these new chapters of the CalDG channel. So, you know, just be ready for some new videos. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn the bell icon for your notifications. Just so you know whenever I upload. And without further ado, let's just start off this tier list. We're going to be doing a tier list of all of the combat style. In blocks, of course, not like in just a random game. But first, let's just get into just like just let's get into it straight away. This is going to be a shorter video, so let's just get in. First, we got combat, all right? Combat is, is, alright, so like, it's bad, everyone knows it's bad, there's only two moves you can do, so you know what, let's just go ahead and like get on it right now. Alright, so on my alt account, and man, third, first C, man, look at this, what is going on, oh, he's fighting the saber guys. But anyways, uh, let's just look at combat, alright, so we got, like, you know, we have hands, we got like our, our fists, or our little like block things, whatever these are, Lego hands, and the M1s, they just, they look basic, you know, like you're just punching, oh wait, oh, nice, wow, we have a very cool fit there, alright, anyway, uh, oh wow, he gave it, thank you. I'm gonna store that. Oh, I don't have enough storage. I don't have that. there you go I don't I don't I can't have it. But yeah, let's just see uh the combat. All right So yeah, you're just punching them. Okay, and of course quick tackle and grounds quick tackle a pretty standard ground smash Okay, that does a little bit more damage, but like still yeah. I'll never use this ever in my life ever once I got dark step in first C I just used that until I got to second C and of course we're gonna go by the three rules Is it like how good is it like fighting? How good is it drippy and how good is it? It's uh, it's special fighting wise it like nobody's ever i've never seen anyone use it like past first drippy not drippy at all you know this okay little cool little cool but like, there's so much and the things that i just showed you the supers are not that good. i would want to set it at c tier to start off but, like we gotta we gotta be ourselves d -tier. next up is darks okay i gotta get back in the main account all right we're back in the main account who could trade it? all right let's just think what do you want to trade sir i got i got a spear for you that's my best for right now i would give you t-rex but you guys all know the infamous situation go watch the ad spirit okay you don't want i'll give you Okay, I'll give you venom with that. You want venom too? All right. Hi, I will give my mythics to to toilet defense. I will give my mythics.
politics and toilet defense. Shut up! Shut up! This guy's a scammer, guys. Don't listen to anybody like this, bro. All right, I'm getting out of here right now. Goodbye, man. Let's go get Dark Step to show it off. Hello, Sanji. Please to Dark Step. Nice. All right, so we got Dark Step over. And then the kicks. Okay, pretty pretty cool with hockey on. Okay, this looks stupid. It just looks like I have shoes. But you know, okay, standard kicks. I like I like the sort of lag sort of it has. That's a little bit drippy. Let's see this flying. Okay. All right. That's not that's not honestly bad. And then the break dance. Okay. Okay. That sounds that's not, that's nice. You know, that's really barrage. Okay. Pretty standard right here. Honestly, this uh combat style is really prioritizing drip. You know, it's like the break dance looks really good. Everything looks better with the overheat. I'll show it off in a minute. Flying kick. But like you know, yeah. Like flying kick is like pretty drippy. You know, like literally use somersault in the air and just like create a crevice right here. But other than that, this fighting style doesn't really have that much like power. To what is? This? Oh yeah, yeah. Stay away, bro. You're scared. You're scared. <laughs> you know, it's pretty standard. It's it's decent, but it's below decent. Well, okay, yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. decent, but it's below decent. Wrong. Death step is obviously way better than it. Oh wait, we have overheat. So let's show it off. Oh yeah. Uh, one thing that dark step has that death step doesn't have is this. Very awesome. Look at that, man. All right, you go ahead. You do the 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 thing right here creates a little thing here wow a thing i think barrage watch this whoa that's drippy barrage looks very cool as well everything prioritizes the drip with fighting style it's good if you know how to use it and you have like good devil for it other than that not that good so we'll, uh, blah, 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 we'll put this at like um say to you that's that's that seems right. all right next is death step all right death step over here oh, wait do it do i have okay no yeah this is not the flame it just has the flame for dark spine so that's pretty death step it's it's probably like my you can see by my high level on it it's it's probably my most favorite fighting style it's not the best obviously there's like god human uh the other ones there's a lot of ones that are better than this but you know what i i love death stuff all right sanji's one of my most favorite characters in one piece anyway actually that's kind of a lie but i i like his fighting and obviously the vermilion drill here way better than the the one in the the sea move in the dark step wind bullet way better for combat this one way better for combat everything's better and of course i don't even think you guys need to see it you know that the max for heat it looks a little bit worse than the dark step version but it makes everything like 1000 more damage and <clears throat> it's one of the most damage dealing uh combat styles in the game so enough said i think i'm gonna put this up in eight all right this is dragon's breath okay dragon's breath is, is like the dark step of um of fighting styles the uh, dark step of, of dragon type fighting because like it's not good but like you know there's another version dragon talent or is this is this dragon okay yeah this is dragon breath the other one's dragon dragon rush okay so immediately off the bat you can tell very drippy fighting i still have these flames on me i found a glitch guys that's oh i found a let them know it was me when uh, i became famous wait a minute is it wait is it i, I could have sworn that it was uh freaking uh like heating up or like warming up whatever it's charging let's try it again Hold so if i just do that okay now say hi get out of here with your hi your hi i'm making the video i don't have the dragon explosion but you know dragon's breath it's like you know everyone knows that it's not that good combat there are people who use it who have like you know very good combos with it and very good like stack builds and you know what you know like you guys have earned my respect because uh it's not easy to use this combat style and you know if, it, if it's used right it's great but i would just use dragon dragon talent i'm gonna i'm gonna put a c tier all right a little bit worse than dark step dark step i don't know if i said dark uh, today's not a good day to record all right dragon breath so i don't have the actual thing i don't have the fighting style itself all right uh hershey's oreos how, how much unhealthy anyways let's see uh dragon talent right here this guy's quality is amazing i can't be talking my quality is not that good but uh oh, he, he didn't even show it okay uh nice dragon style blocks oh here we go showcase all right uh okay nice okay basic attacks you're using bandit i'm using Cake island oh why you're not okay let's see this the talon lighter oh Ooh, the blue fire that's that's so drippy oh and that, that looks really good for combat as well i mean it looks good for combat and it looks good amber annihilation okay all right i i, I think i've seen enough you guys want to see internal vortex let's just see it all right internal voltage uh, blah, 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 vortex Ooh, 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 ooh. this looks great i don't know how to use it pretty sure probably it's really good for combat i'm gonna put it top of 18 all right electric claw again another thing that i don't have so i gotta i gotta go electric uh, claw here we go all right let's see um oh wait this is just regular okay, okay electric claw z let's see oh okay nice nice i mean it's just a little bit of claws but uh all right all right pretty decent not that drippy to be honest it looks pretty outdated the x move lightning thrust uh i love to thrust what that, that just looks like quake what it actually looks terrible i'm not even gonna lie thunder clap flag all right i got oh this is not looking that good i'm not lying i think but all right damage test let's see oh Oh, this doesn't look good either. You know what? I'm I'm gonna do everyone.
everyone here a favor. I'm gonna put it in B tier for anyone that's oh you can't review it because you haven't used it. I put it in B tier for you guys. I'm I'm gonna get it soon, don't worry. Electric style, all right. Back into Roblox. Hello, mad scientist. Please teach me your ways. Electric, okay, so nice, you know, pretty, pretty, a little bit drippy on the start. You know, we have this nice stuff, this static electricity, whatever you want to call it. Okay, stomp is looking nice as well. The tackle and then the floor. It's all pretty drippy, right? Is it good for combat? Absolutely not. You know, the stomp is pretty much less. Uh, tackle has like the worst range ever. Electric floor, you're, you're going to be like lucky to hit someone with that. All three things, you know, the combat, the drip, the uh, freaking, the supers, all mid. Bottom of the CT, bottom. All right, Sharkman Karate. Again, probably one of my most favorite ones. Okay, Sharkman Karate. So the drip on this, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty mid, you know? We have, okay, we have some like nice water effects and stuff like that. Drip, two out of three. But the combat with this, I've seen some crazy cut like style, crazy builds, you know, especially with pressure vortex, great sea spear. Again, adding to the fact that you know, the supers with this are really good. Supers and uh, combat, three out of three. Drip, two out of three. I believe we have in ourselves a nice spot at the bottom of A tier. Okay, is this God? Man, I don't even. I haven't even progressed this block. <laughs> is it superhuman and God human showcase? Oh my gosh, it's like a one. No, oh, safe light, safe light repair, safe light. Don't care. Oh, that was that was so. Fun. All right, let's. Uh, so that's superhuman. So I was right, and God human right here. All right, let's see the Z move. soaring beast. Oh, oh, what? That that what? That's pretty. Un let's see how it does with the NPC. Oh, oh, four thousand damage. That's honestly crazy. Heaven and earth. Okay, heaven and earth. Like bun here is kind of lacking, but it is the best combat charged. Wait, you oh, 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 the just changed. Oh, okay, drip just went up with that. But obviously, combat and the supers, we gotta both put those at three and three. This is looking insane. This is honestly looking crazy. Six realm gun. All right, what's going on here? Let's see. Let's see how it is with that. Okay. Oh, it's not bad. You know, it is. It is like most damaging. Let's see the charged version. Okay. You, you, all right. The fact that you can charge it speaks for itself. Go ahead, do it. Yep. All right. Alright, we've seen enough. That did like how much damage? Oh, we gotta put this S tier. Sanguine. Oh. So I gotta go soon, guys, but let's like let's just go through a speed round right here. Sanguine, drip is amazing. Combat style is mid. God human will win every time. Top of A tier. Superhuman, the worst version of God human. Low dragon, uh, dragon breath, dragon talon, whatever. This uh D tier, because I hate it. That's Fishman Karate, by the way. I don't know. I, I know what it is. But anyways, here's the final tier list. Oh my gosh. This video took a while to make, so it would appreciate like everyone that works on these videos if you hit a like subscribe and turn on the bell icon for future notifications just so you know whenever i upload thank you guys so much for watching god bless